Alrighty, um, so uh, here I am. I'm in my. Oh, there goes my studio partner right there. His name is Bean, and uh, he's here to entertain us. Hey, Bean. He'll be helping me out with the film. Uh, he'll be holding the camera. So here you go, Bean. Uh, there I am. So uh, good to see everybody. And it's early in the morning here, and uh, I'm just in my I'm in my. Uh, house so this is um, this is my studio and I'll probably be working on on that uh, at some point I'm just gonna this is gonna be all pieced together this this little film for you guys so this is my my hat eh? and uh, the sweater and sort of a douchey white guy uh, uh, golf shirt all ready to go so I'll show you around a little bit but mostly my studio. I'm not much for uh, for. Uh, I don't have guests. But uh, beyond that, this is a studio where I'm doing work. I'm actually working on an album um, right now, a new album. If I turn on the light, that might help. There we go. So this is this is kind of where all the magic, all all the magic happens. And I'll get my coffee because it's my last name, so I drink a lot of this. And uh, here's some of my books. I listen to a lot of music. And uh, we'll carry on. So, um, I think I finished this piece right here. I'm not entirely sure yet, but this is kind of where it's at. And this one will be hopefully heading down to uh, you guys there in beautiful Pennsylvania. Um, I absolutely loved coming and uh, all the good people of Lancaster and my wife Barbara and I are sad that we can't come down this time around, but um, I guess next time. These are some of the, that's a piece that I painted a while back and there's my other studio partner. Come here. I, don't, I never go into any of the uh, actual sort of metaphorical and uh, I'm kind of, I'm a little bit superstitious about that type of thing. I don't like overanalyzing work. This is Flynn. This is Flynn. He's a, he's a studio cat and uh, he helps me decide on what particular strokes to make. So it's like, and then I go, oh nice. And uh, anyway, so he's, uh, but back to the uh, discussion. I'm very gestural, I'm very uh, spontaneous. I kind of move the, with the color. There's a bit of a mystery to it. I've chased uh, the Impressionists around the world and uh, study the B-side paintings instead of the A-side, the, the popular. I'll go looking for for those pieces, the Gauguin's and all of that that are, are sort of off the beaten path that aren't in the textbooks because quite often those are the ones that um, that I find the charm in, really. Um, so, I mean, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And Anyway, so um, I've got other pieces that I, I don't know if this camera's working very well, but there's different canvases that I'm, I'm working on. There's a uh, painting of a, a plane flying and when out here we're, I'll take you guys out and we'll, uh, I'll show you what we have out here on Treaty 7 land on uh, Blackfoot, Siksika, and um, show you what I see quite often, which is actually quite a bit of this. But anyway, so I'm out here right now. This is what I'm doing. And this is kind of a regular routine for me. Uh, I gotta keep him uh, nimble and quick, you know. I mean, he's got a lot of prep work to do on my canvases. Anyway. Chasing the ball. 
well as we're all doing it seems. So I'm going to kind of go over here and show you. This is just on the edge of, uh, I'm just down the street, just down this way, but uh, there's kind of, like I wish it was a little more dramatic, but this, this gives you an idea of what I look at. So this is a, yeah, it's interesting because we're elevated and uh, Sometimes it feels the optical feels like we're looking down at the Rocky Mountains right over there, and it doesn't take us long down to Waterton. Oh, oh two hours maybe. Banff is very far. Um, we often get some pretty dramatic sunsets. Ah, there's a little distance for you. I do a lot of these pole pieces. Well, now you know why. Um, I get a lot of inspiration from around here. Anyway, and further down is the Waterton where the prairies butt up against the, uh, the mountains. And then I'm going to keep turning here. Calgary's that way, not far, but an hour and some, not much. And we head north, actually all the way to Edmonton up there, Fort McMurray. Uh, Drum Heller and the dinosaurs, Tyrell is that way. Down, straight down that way is the, are you guys, well, at least the American border of Montana. And riding on Stone National Park, which is incredible. That's, that's my tour. I'm going to go back to the studio and take uh, my studio partner so he can start laying in some canvas for me. Right now he's, right now he's resting. Let's see. There he is right there, sitting in the shade. And it's not really hot out, but it seems like it doesn't matter what the temperature is for him. Oh! He just has to... You know, go chase that ball. So uh, back here now. This is uh, this is another space that I work in in the uh, summertime. Um, when I paint. Um, say I'm a lot. Well, this is really why I, I love oil paint, really, because I can uh, I can work it for a while, and then but I use I use a uh, um, rapid dryer uh, walnut oil. I don't I try I try and stay away from as uh, chemical as such, but. Um, just a general to, to specific sort of approach as, as I was taught in my training. Um, just, I want to say these, these nice little happy little clouds. Just trying to get the last little definition here. As far as the process goes, I am very, very gestural. So um, there's not too much of what I'm doing now. I try not to overindulge and get caught up in, in uh, detail in that, you know, kind of the old eliminate what isn't necessary or don't even bother with what isn't necessary. To me, what 
exists in between. It's trying to capture actual space. Something's occupying space. The shimmer in between and, and made things vibrate. The tray, fl the fleetingness of the fleeting. <laughs> uh, the shift of light and, and on and on and on. So I will never run out of subject matter. I will forever be stumbling around trying to figure out what the frickin' hell is going on. And that's it. I uh, think I've got a lot of work to do. I don't think of myself as anything but just a person that's attempting to capture something. And that's it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I continually learn. I'm never feeling I don't want to be comfortable. I don't care for for the idea of comfort. I want I want uh, discovery of what happens with mixing colors, note taking. I'm not interested in any of that. I'm interested in in this, you know, the eyes out the brush. I'm not interested in the brain spending too much analytical time on on a topic that is not meant for that it's it's so guttural and uh frankly i absolutely love what it is that i get get to do i mean i'm very i have i have a great gratitude for the, this life of mine i'm very um, i feel very fortunate extremely fortunate to be able to uh, spend my days uh painting and that people uh find something in them you know, that's so much of what I keep talking about in terms of the collaboration between uh, the painter or the musician um, and the viewer, the listener. It's all collaborative. It's all a dance. It's the story of the viewer. I'm tapping into these memory Polaroids, I call them. You know, snapshots of experience, whatever it is, but they all tend to mingle. They mingle together. I don't spend too much time wondering why. So much as, uh, wow, man, that's weird. That's interesting. Um, who knows? Maybe it's just all flashback. The viewer, somehow there's something that happens, and they bring their story and their experience to it, and they identify with something. And there lies the magic of art. You know, the, the, the language has made its connection and uh, tapped into somebody and created some emotion and I mean, I really, I seriously uh, believe in art therapy. I believe in meditation and Zen. And I, I, I'm not romantic about art. I, uh, I, it's tactility, and it's it's uh, it's emotion. And, you know, it's people want that tactility in their lives. Thank goodness. Otherwise, it'd just be one big old screen. And I'm, uh, you know, politically driven, but I don't, I don't let it be known too much on social media because it's bullshit. I'd rather talk to people face to face and enjoy meeting whatever walk of life, and whatever opinions. Um, all I care about is empathy. My political party is empathy. The empathy party. So. Anyway, I think that this piece is, is done. Okay. Ah, all right. Um, I, uh, I just want to say thanks for spending time uh, watching this <laughs> and listening to uh, all my madness and uh, crazy uh, chit-chat. This is an album I put out uh, a number of years ago called uh, uh, Paint Songs. One last thing, if you're ever up here in Canada, come and visit us. We'll, uh, we'll put on tea and we'll hang out and uh, get in a visit. And that goes out to all of you. So just everybody get on a big plane and just come up here. We've got a little airport land out here at the airport. And I'll drive over my old Explorer and pick you all up. Anyway, okay, this is called In Paint. Cheers.